China launched its first domestically produced aircraft carrier today. Amid great fanfare, streamers and a champagne bottle broken across the bow. Six tugboats tugged the enormous ship out of dry dock and into the waters off the coast of Dalian. Built by China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation. The carrier is the largest warship ever built by China. It is rumored to be named Shandong, China's first aircraft carrier. The Liaoning was built during the waning days of the Cold War as an aircraft carrier for the Soviet Union. The new carrier, tentatively known as Type 1A, is dimensionally similar to Liaoning. According to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, the carrier is approximately the same size, although it might be up to 30 feet longer than its predecessor. The two ships are expected to weigh roughly the same, between 65,000 to 70,000 tons fully loaded. Type 1A is conventionally powered, with steam turbines propelling the ship to estimated top speed of 32 knots. The carrier has a 14-degree ski ramp on the bow of the ship to help planes get airborne. However, ski ramp forces aircraft to take off lighter than they could on a ship equipped with aircraft launch catapults, and cannot launch turboprop aircraft such as the E-2D Greyhound airborne early warning aircraft. This results in aircraft with a shorter range. Fewer weapons and they must be directed by controllers on a nearby short-range helicopter. Future carriers are expected to be equipped with steam or electromagnetic launch catapults. Lowning can carry an estimated 18 to 24 J-15 fighters and 17 helicopters of various types to carry out airborne early warning, utility, and anti-submarine warfare duties. CSIS estimates the new carrier can embark perhaps eight more aircraft of various types. The ship will still need two or three years of fitting out and tests before it is ready to be commissioned.